now to making your career better than ever in the new year. Millions, as you know, have quit their jobs during the pandemic, many to make big career changes. For 56-year-old Nancy Crawford, who you may remember, you met her in GMA in April, it meant taking a leap from full-time employment to becoming an intern. Well, we're going to talk with a career expert in a moment, but first, here is Nancy's story. Well, hello. <sighs> oh, oh, my how, goodness. How are you? Come here, Nancy. Oh, my goodness. Robin, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's good to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. This was the moment Nancy Crawford was manifesting. Tell me a little bit about yourself. My goal is to become a newscaster. And you are my role model, and I'm inspired by you. At the age of 56, Nancy taking the leap from a job in corporate finance. You're going to be my co-anchor. We're going to give oh a, little, a, little, a little test read. Are you oh ready? Oh, my goodness. Yes, I am. To pursue her dream of becoming a broadcast journalist. Good morning, America. I'm Nancy Crawford. Here are today's top stories. To Over the past feel. year, Nancy seizing the opportunity earning her associate's degree in communications and securing a fall internship with our station WABC here in New York City. My first day putting on my official Disney ID. We just wrapped up. Nancy Today, documenting her journey off. as she learned the ropes in the office. Good morning, seven on your side. This is Nancy. How and in the field, working alongside seven on your side reporter, Nina Pineda. My role is to um, gather the emails that we receive on a daily basis, go through the information, pitch the story to the producer. The aspiring newscaster training on the anchor desk. She called seven on your side for help. That was perfect. That was like your best one. You feel that one? Yes. Nancy now prepared with the skill set to take her career to the next level. If you're in Jersey City, watch out for Karen. In the newsroom, Nancy Crawford, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Back to you. Oh, so incredibly proud of Nancy. We're going to bring in career coach Laura Gassner Otting, author of Limitless, How to Ignore Everybody, Carve Your Own Path, and Live Your Best Life. We're finally meeting. We're finally oh, meeting after all these years. I read your book, Limitless. You had left it for me. We were in speaking engagements, and I'm telling you, I'm so glad to have this time, and this is the right time to talk to you because the great resignation is still going strong. Why do you think that is? You know, so many of us woke up after the pandemic and mm. said, gosh, when life goes back to normal, is the normal I'm going back to really the life I want? And for a lot of us, the answer, just like Nancy, was a resounding no. Mm -hmm. And especially those of us in midlife who, when we were teenagers, were asked to pick a career path. But you know what you don't have, Robin, when you're a teenager? What's that? A frontal lobe, like the actual part of your brain hmm. that dictates good, sound, logical decision making. So is it any wonder so many of us are like, I wonder what happens now. What do I do now? And what do we do now? Because there are some do's and don'ts. Yes. And a lot of people feel skill set. And they, I don't know why they get it into their head. There's the fear that they don't have the skill to do what it is that they want to do. How do you get past that? Yeah, that's because so many uh, position descriptions talk only about transferable skills. So don't focus on your transferable skills, these skills that we already have done. Any job I've ever wanted has been something that I've not been obviously qualified for. Yet we don't make a change to do something you've already done. We make a change to do something different. So instead, do focus on translatable skills. Ooh. These are the skills we've picked up in one arena that might translate to another. Breaking down those jobs into their component parts. If, for example, you raise money for a community organization, you've done the research, you've made the ask, you've stewarded a relationship that's perfect for, say, a career in sales. I like that translatable. Um, that's my takeaway. Yes, that's my takeaway. That's... Okay, salary. You know, because some folks, um, some, not all, want to make the the career shift because they want to make more money, but there's more to that than just the compensation of making this shift. Yes, we have been taught that bigger, better, faster, more is the only metric of success. So don't just focus on one number, do focus on two. Think about your need to make number and your want to make number. Your need to make numbers, what you need to have to cover your essentials, home, education, food, health, especially in uncertain, right, uh, in right. uncertain economic times. But instead, think about your want to make number also. That's everything in and above that. 
the sweet spot is what's in the middle, and that's where you decide what you're willing to sacrifice to make this career change. Maybe taking on an entry level position like Nancy, Nancy, doing an internship, taking a course, anything you need to increase your network and your skill set. Got to think big. You got to think, you know, big. dream big, but you know, focus small. Absolutely. And, and, and make those steps. Absolutely. Can we talk about ageism? Oh yes. Because that is something also that people it prevents them from making that plunge. Yes, ageism is real. But don't apologize for your age and don't try to hide it by you know, taking off years off your resume. Mm -hmm. Instead, do think about how to prepare yourself, how to, how to be in the moment with mm -hmm. you know, the, the transition you're making. So do those informational interviews with people who have made the midlife career change. Do an internship, take on some gig work, absolutely update your, public, your social media and your public facing technology. But also go in with confidence knowing that maybe if you want to change your career into entrepreneurship, Starting a business when you're 39 years old, there are studies that show that you are five times more likely to be successful after 39 years old than earlier. Because this is when we know ourselves, we know our skills and our, our, you know, what, our strengths and our weaknesses, and we understand who to surround ourselves with mm -hmm. in order to bring out our best. I love how you said, don't hide your age. It is something that we should be proud of and know that we have value, that we are, yeah, we may be learning, but we still have something that we're bringing to the table. Yes, our age is an asset. Okay, so bottom line, bottom line, because I'm really excited to have you here, and I know that people are, are watching and they want to make this plunge. What is, what is your final message to people to, you know, if you want to make this change in life, to go for it? My final message is that life is really short, and if we've learned anything in the last few years, it's that we should be doing things that bring us more joy, more fulfillment, things that we enjoy every single day, because when we bring our best to what we do, then everyone around us benefits. All the right. time is now. Now. It is now. And I'm so glad we had the chance to meet now. Absolutely. All right, me too. Laura. Okay, see you back on social. Thank you yeah, so much. <laughs> you got it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.